welcome to Gen Y Footy, episode 26. We're at the business end of the year, Frankie. So, there is no better person to get involved in this show. A Brownlow medalist, um, a premiership player, captain of the Hawks, former captain, and he's raised over Superstar. $2 million for the Breast Cancer Network of Australia. Shane Crawford, thanks for joining us. Dean, Frankie, how good is it to be here? Oh. This is amazing. You've got people behind cameras. You've got an unbelievable set. And I'm so happy to be here. Before we get into the lighter stuff, thanks for coming. We're very happy to have you here. Thank you. We're We're over the moon. Now, a couple incidents on the weekend. Chapman copped a week for this one. Right. Unbelievable. Was it fair? Uh, Yeah, I think so. (laughs) I think when you compare it to Buddy Franklin, um, I think that's fair. He jumped off the ground, didn't really have to do that, probably could have tackled... Uh, maybe got a bit lower. It didn't have to do that. So I love the good players playing in September, but uh, unfortunately, we just know it's a no-go zone. You can't hit anyone high. Yep. And if you do, you're out. Teddy Richards for this, very similar to Buddy Franklin. Mm-hmm. He was very, he was lucky. Well, the difference is Teddy Richards keeps his feet. He doesn't jump off the ground. He gets down low and puts the bump on. Yep. So from that point of view, I think he did everything right in his powers to get in there and, and lay a perfect bump. But Dragon Buddy was a bit stiff because he didn't leave the ground very much. He's yeah, just not tall. much, but he's very just tall, tall and he's had a bit of history with knocking guys uh, in the head yep. because he's like six foot four, six foot five. Yep. Ben Cousins in the past, he got him high with a hip and shoulder um, and then uh, Mel Chesky uh, just recently. So you just can't go there these days. Unfortunately, you just got to stay away. Yep. Don't go there, get down low, lay a tackle, maybe a smother. Don't try and bump someone. Okay, so you're happy with the findings? You're all good with the. I think. Uh, <laughs> what are they? What do they call themselves? The MRP. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I think they're going okay, but I prefer Buddy not being out, yeah. and I prefer Chapman to play. Okay. Hello, Shane. Nice to see you. This is Frankie, Thank Shane. You, you travelled across the Nullarbor together. With us on the show today. That's yeah. true. He was a wonderful support. Um, I'm still not sure what his job was, <laughs> but uh, he was following me the whole way. A very, very uh, fine member of the team. Well, he rode with you, apparently. Here's the photo. Did he actually ride the whole day? Because that's what he's told everybody, family and friends, that he rode the whole day with you. Well, he's lying. <laughs> that's um, I did get up one morning. It's probably day 15 or 16, and... I looked and I saw this man uh, walking out of his room in his Lycra. And I'm thinking, is that Frankie? <laughs> and he goes, I'm going to have a go today. And I'm thinking, oh, this will be good. So the first <laughs> 10 minutes, rolling hills. Mm-hmm. And then he started to hold me back a bit. Yeah. And I'm thinking, come on, Frank. And he said, oh, this is why I never made it as an AFL footballer because <laughs> I've got asthma and these hills oh, are no. starting to stir it up. And we got to almost to the top of this hill. I said, come on, just get to the top. Get to the top of this one. That's all I want you to do. Got halfway up it and said, no, nah, I can't do it. He stopped on the side of the road and jumped in the car and that was it. But You're... at least he had a bit of a go. But I tell you what, what now I know why the Blues <laughs> didn't make uh, grand final action because they were lacking a bit of ticker like their supporter over there. No, he's definitely a PR. ANZ Stadium, Frankie, yes. you weren't happy with that? No, speaking of another team, as you said, who didn't make it to the top. Carlton didn't make it because of the slippery surface. It was like an ice skating <laughs> ring. The three amigos, Yaron Gartlett, and of course Eddie Betts couldn't stand up, Crawf. Is that the reason they so lost? So you're saying they <laughs> lost because they couldn't keep their feet? Correct, they couldn't. So how come the Sydney Swans players were able to keep their feet? Well, they didn't at times, but the, the times that Carlton needed to keep their feet, they, there was a crucial time <laughs> well, that they lost I, the game. I, I, I don't agree with that because even Yaron swapped his boots after half time. We saw a great shot of him sitting on the bench changing his boots. Whereas the Sydney players were better prepared. They the had surface. longer stops. They knew the surface. The Carlton players thought they could get away with it. And guess what? It cost them. It cost them. Ian Prendergast texted me saying he's not happy with your comments from the <laughs> AFLPA. He's saying that there was nothing that any, anyone could do about it. And that's the reason that they lost. Ian, <laughs> get lost. <laughs> now, Shane. Yeah. Can it curse? Do yes. you believe in it at all? Is it true? Well, it it's works perfectly, hasn't it, really? When you look at it from a Geelong's point of view. But uh, I think it's all going to change. I really think if ever Hawthorne are going to win, they win the big games against uh, Geelong, yep. 208. They won the premiership yep. when everyone doubted them. And this game is massive to get in a grand final, 2013. And I reckon whoever wins this will go on and win the grand final. So yep. I think uh, I spoke to Jeff during the week and I said, what are we going to do? We need to reverse the curse. Yep. We've got to come up with something special. So he has put a media ban on himself all week. Yep. He's not going anywhere, hasn't spoke to any spoken to anyone on radio, yeah. hasn't done any TV interviews, and he said, I'm not going to speak to anyone, yeah. and that's how I'm going to reverse the curse. Oh, he's finally, finally just not going to say he's, anything. Yeah, but Jeff. I'm not sure if it's going to last. <laughs> so imagine if they win, will he put him off next week when he comes out on Saturday morning if yeah. they do win and 
just tells the whole world that the, re the curse has been reversed. <laughs> yeah, now, you are the Cup Ambassador Croft this year for the Premiership Cup, so yep. you obviously brought it in tonight for Jim Footy. Uh, yeah, I have a little <laughs> bit of an issue. I You've actually can't locate it at the moment. Uh, I was going to take it to my son's school uh, tomorrow, but uh, I can't actually find it. Oh. So um, it's a little bit of an issue, but uh, I'm sure I'll find it before next week when it really needs yeah. to be put on show. No, it'll get lost again by yep. whoever wins, of course. Yeah. Back to the Hawks, Shane. Sat, um, You've got Lance Franklin coming back in, and you've also got Cyril. Who goes out? I think uh, Spanger goes out because he's got long hair and <laughs> a really hairy beard. He looks a bit like that guy from Juice Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> he looks very much like that guy. Not that I've watched that movie, but he very much looks like him. And you'd probably have to say possibly maybe an Anderson. It's going to be tough because yeah. they all deserve to be in there at the moment, but I think that's a sign of a good side. Pressure's on. Uh, there's going to be a few unlucky ones, and that's going to happen with Fremantle, it'll happen with Geelong, it'll happen with, who's the other team in there? The Sydney Swans. Sydney Swans. <laughs> who, uh, who wins out of the Sydney Swans and Freo? Well, I think Freo do. I think Ross Lyon is a genius, the way he shuts the side down. Uh, having played against Ross Lyon's, Ross Lyon's sides before, um, you just can't run direct towards goal. He forces you wide, he forces you to overuse the footy, doesn't allow you to have space, and I think he's a wonderful coach. Freo... Uh, are up and about. They've got the heave ho. They're yeah. feeling good about themselves. They'll win at home, and they're very much a, a massive chance to win the whole thing. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> did you take all that in? Well, I did. We're under the what bus. did I say? No, I took it all in. I can't say oh, it all. going to win. Ross Lyons a genius. Uh, we just had to get a couple of quick, serious ones off you, Croft. Buddy Franklin, regardless of what's being said at the moment by him and his camp, what's he going to do? You know him more than anyone. Where's he going? I think he'll stay. And I think you're Hawthorne, delusional, Shane. I've lost the plot. <laughs> you've lost the plot. He's okay. not staying. I think he'll go. <laughs> yes, there we go. And he's not going to stay. <laughs> Is that what you really think? No, I said he was going to stay. So you reckon he's going to stay? I think he'll stay. Okay. What about Justin Martin? What do you say about that? I, I don't understand why he's leaving. <laughs> no. I think Richmond have been a great club for him. Why wouldn't you stay? Um, if you get an extra... If you got an extra 20000 a year, would you move? Oh, you did. You left Channel 9, went to Channel 7, didn't you? Yeah. So that's fair enough. So maybe, uh, maybe it's in his own right to move on and go to somewhere else if you're going to get a bit more money. If it's all about money, if that's what life's all about, but, geez, I can't keep up with the cameras. Well, it is, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not. No, it's not. It's about great people being yeah. in a great organisation. You obviously felt that wasn't the case at Channel 9. <laughs> it's our time. What? For our Gem Y Player of the Week, Frankie, who wins it this uh, week? Shane, it's lovely to have you here. And you you know what the Gemini Player of the Week is, of course. It's where we give it to a player for great play. And this week it goes to Justin Westhoff from Port Adelaide, of course. They couldn't quite get the deal done against the Cats, but he certainly did. And if this was in the home and away season, right. this would have been goal of the year. Would have it? Are you oh. on the panel, though? How good was that? It was fantastic. Player. Haven't we loved Port's year? They've That's been incredible. Good. And uh, Westhoff's been sensational. Mm. Beautiful. Can we get a brown low tip from him? Uh, well, go? I'm going to give you some great information. Yep. My top three, Sam Mitchell, yep. Okay, Ablett and Pendlebury. So those three will be the top three in any order. Okay, Could no go surprise. either way. Gary Abbott will get 25 votes, but not a lot of upside. Sam Mitchell and Scott Pendlebury have the have the ability to get into the 30s. Yep. So they could be surprise winners. Fife a bit unlucky. But what would I know? I'm only a past winner. <laughs> <laughs> Fife a little bit unlucky not to make the All-Australian side? Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> okay. Hodge is not in there. <laughs> Fife's had a really good year, had a few little injuries here yeah. and there. So I think the All-Australian side's a pretty good one and I don't think uh, they got it too bad. Shane, too wrong. you are a Brownlow medalist and we appreciate you coming That's in. That's correct. Looks good. <laughs> Frankie Dean I, we look very good in them. Yeah. Is there anything you can't do, you perfect human? I can't sing. <laughs> Can but I can hat? take us out to a break. You yeah, don't you go home hat? without anything. Cool. Thanks for coming. You get some deaf clothing. Yes. Right. Who are great friends of ours. You get a t-shirt as well. So put that oh, on. Fantastic. You get a Gem Y footy mug that hasn't been washed it's for a year. You get a deaf wallet to put all those sheets in, as uh, the boys like to call them. Obviously for one of my children, is it? <laughs> <laughs> very, very uh, small. Know, it's, uh, it's a medium, but I, I know you like a large, but that's okay. And you get a pair of Blunston boots and, of course, the Frankie Dean eyewear glasses. Which you've already got up. Really? Yeah. Thank you so really? much. It's been wonderful. All the very best and good luck to your side if it's in the grand final. Go the Hawkers. Go the Hawkers! We'll see you next week on Gemma Footage.